We would like to begin uh, the press conference by uh, Foreign Minister Motegi. Next week, it will be the ASEAN Week. Uh, next week, in a virtual format, the ASEAN-related foreign ministers meeting will be held. First of all, in on the 3rd of August, a Tuesday, there will be Japan ASEAN Foreign Ministers Meeting and ASEAN Plus Three Foreign Ministers Meeting. And on the 4th, the EAS East Asia Summit Participating Countries Foreign Ministers Meeting. And on the 6th, uh, Friday, a Japan Mekong Foreign Ministers Meeting and ARF ASEAN Regional Forum Ministerial Meeting are uh, being uh, scheduled, and I will be attending from Japan on all these meetings. In these series of meetings, in addition uh, to how to respond uh, to the COVID-19, there will be exchange of views on regional circumstances, including uh, the Myanmar situation, South China Sea issue, as well as uh, the North Korean um, situation and so forth. And uh, I would like uh, to firmly explain on the Japanese policy and the position uh, to reaffirm uh, strengthening the partnership with uh, the relevant countries. ASEAN uh, is uh, crucial in realizing free and open Indo-Pacific Japan. I would like to emphasize our support uh, to uh, the ASEAN outlook on Indo-Pacific and also to have in-depth discussion on the concrete cooperation in realizing free and open Indo-Pacific. as of the 1st of August, it's been six months after the um, coup. So what message are you intending to convey as with regard to Myanmar situations? On the 1st of February, uh, the coup occurred. Since then, as for Japan, immediate stop of the violence, as well as uh, Ms. Aung San Suu Kyi, as well as the release of the detained persons, as well as we've been demanding for the early recovery of the dip diplomatic uh, system. Now, in re relations to this, in a seance leaders meeting uh, will be held inclusive of Myanmar, five consensus um, has been established. These five consensus, in other words, Japan, it is important for Japan to support uh, this initiative of ASEAN in G7 as well as in the G20 forum. We've been emphasizing the importance of uh, the support. Now, of the five consensus, sending of the special envoy, as well as within Myanmar, uh, starting of the dialogue uh, will be the key focal point. So inclusive of these issues, uh, we would like to have a good, good discussion. Next question, please. So Kondo-san. Uh, Kondo from Juji Press. A follow-up question. In the Myanmar situation the other day, the Myanmar National uh, uh, Military uh, uh, has appointed uh, the election committee, an election committee uh, that has uh, announced uh, the, uh, the result of the general election to be invalid, and they, uh, they may make an LD as uh, illegal. As for the legitimacy of the general election, uh, took place uh, last year, and uh, what is the position of Japan? And are you uh, trying to approach uh, uh, the uh, military and going forward? What do we have uh, had been re requesting? Uh, the, the announcement uh, is something not desirable because it goes against the uh, resumption of the democratic political regime that Japan has been asking for. Now. Uh, as for the election observation mission sent by the government of Japan, which was sent to the general election uh, in Myanmar last year, we, I have been given a report uh, that, uh, that as uh, the uh, election observation missions from the different countries that uh, have been observing, and in most part, the election took place in a peaceful manner. That is how I understand it. 
in many hidden ways. Those people who have uh, different positions, well, I believe that uh, they need to be engaged in dialogue with each other. So through such a dialogue, in what way democratization uh, could be recovered uh, soon? That is what uh, the needs uh, to, uh, to be uh, sought for. And the, the role to be played by special envoy uh, would be quite important. And as for Japan, for such endeavors and efforts, we would like her to support and push forward those efforts. Are there any other questions? Yamamoto-san? Yamamoto with NHK. With regards to Japan-Russia, on Monday of this year, our Prime Minister, Mr. Shuchin, visited a Torof Island, and you made some comment, Minister Motegi, now, special uh, zone um, where the special um, tariff treatment um, is planned to be established. However, no uh, further details has been disclosed um, from the Russian side. Have there any been specific explanations uh, made from the Russian side to Japan? Now, with regard to this, as I have made announcement uh, through my comment, uh, with regard uh, to the joint uh, economic activities, I also uh, made uh, some comment. Now, with regard to the joint economic uh, activities in the Northern Territories, we've been proactive in communicating with the Russian side and asked for the government of Japan, the remarks made by the President Putin. Yes, we are aware of that, and we would like to further concretize the joint economic activities and assuming that um, it should not harm the Japanese legal positions, but using various channels, we would like to continue with the communications. Now, from the Russian side, what happens to the tax or anything that is covered by the press? Um, well, there has been some um, press report. However, there was no concrete explanations provided from Russia to Japan um, from uh, last year. When it comes to the joint economic activities, uh, we have not uh, seen much progress inclusive of the exchange and the people's movement. However, uh, we would like to further move on uh, with this uh, joint economic activities. And if allows, uh, we would like to enhance Japan-Russia cooperation to a new state. So what may be uh, other areas is something that we would like to discuss. Any other question? No? Then thank you very much. This is the end of the press conference for today. Thank you.